Hello and welcome to another session. In this session, we will understand the SAP FICO Enterprise Structure. So SAP FICO Enterprise Structure or any other enterprise structure in SAP normally starts with the client definition. So client is normally created by the basis team and we create different client for different purpose. For example, we can have a separate client for the training purpose. We can have the separate client for the sandbox purpose. We create different kind of clients. So client are nothing but the technical uh, systems which has its own master data, own transactional data. Even the user IDs and passwords which are created for different users are separately created for each client. So whenever we are creating the organizational elements like company, company code, all these things we create within the client. Okay, so let's say if we have two different clients, one is train, one is for the training purpose and second is for the testing purpose. If I create my company's company codes in one client by default, those will not be visible in another client. Let me now start with the FI part. Within FI, uh, the enterprise elements are company, company code, business area and profit centers. We will understand all of them one by one. Let's start with the company. Company is normally created as a corporate group or it can be created as an internal trading partner. Now, what is the difference between the corporate group and internal trading partner? So normally when we uh, are creating a company as a corporate group, for example, if you are implementing SAP for Tata group, now Tata group can be created as a corporate group as a company. Okay. And all the legal entities like Tata communications, Tata steel, all this can be created as company codes. So we create the legal entities as company codes and corporate group as a company. Also, it is possible that instead of creating a company as a corporate group, we can also create a company as an internal trading partner. Okay, so for those organizations who are not using the consolidation module within SAP, maybe they are using SAP BPC or group reporting. In that case, instead of using a company as a corporate group, we can use the company as an internal trading partner. What do you mean by internal trading partner now? So if the legal entities like Tata Communications, Tata Steel, Tata Power, if they want to do the transactions with each other, in that case, in order to allow the intercompany transactions, we can create companies as internal trading partners and we need to create same number of internal trading partners as those of company codes. Normally, there is one to one relationship between company codes and company. So this is about the company. Now let's focus on the company codes. So company codes, as I told you, are the legal entities. Okay, so whatever legal entities we got for which we need to generate our financial statements, uh, which are for the external purpose. So why we generate the financial statements? What, what do you mean by the external purpose? So those reports which are mandatory from the law. Okay, so for example, for our tax authorities, for our auditors, we need to create the financial statements. So these financial statements are created at the company code level. Okay, so all the legal entities that we got, we normally create as company codes in the SAP system. In addition to company and company code, normally there is a requirement for internal reporting purpose at the level below company code. Okay, so we already have the report available for data communications, for example, at the company code level. But within data communications, if we have different branches or if we have different product or services, and we want to generate the internal report like how much profit was made by a particular branch or how much profit was made by a particular product line. In that particular case, we can use two other objects in SAP. One is business area and second is the profit centers. Now, what you are using, whether you are using business area or profit center, that is something which we need to discuss with the client. We need to understand the requirement and based on that, we need to give the uh, whatever is fitting for that particular customer requirement. So sometimes, most of the times, the business areas are created as the locations. So whatever locations or branches we got, we create as business areas. And the products or service lines, whatever we got, we normally create as profit centers. But there is no hard and fast rule. We can also interchange the use of business areas or profit centers. Or even nowadays, or maybe from last 10, 15 years, you might have also heard that it is not recommended from SAP to use the business areas. In that particular case, using the profit center itself, we can generate the reports at the branch as well as the product level. So normally we create the profit centers as a combination of products and the uh, branches. Apart from this, when we talk about the enterprise structure, now if I talk from the CEO point of view, from the controlling point of view, if you want to use the controlling module, 
the base thing the first thing that you need to create is the controlling area right without controlling area we will not be able to use controlling module in sap on top of that if we are using copa if you are using profitability analysis then in addition to the controlling area we also need to create the operating concern so normally operating concern sits above the controlling area okay so we can have one operating concern which is assigned to different controlling areas in sap apart from this there are variants okay so in this session we will close the topic here itself but in the next session we are going to talk about the variants so basically there are four important variants in sap we will understand what exactly are variants we will also understand what are the four important variants for example the chart of account fiscal year variant posting period variant and field status variant so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, thank you for watching this bye